Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Today's razor review will be the Parker Short Handle 87R Butterfly Safety Razor. But before I get into this, I want to talk about my previous video on the R41GS. I'll put a link to it up there. You can check it out. It was the R41GS, the Mula All Stainless R41 Razor. It's a beast of razors and you never have to worry about it rusting because it's full on stainless steel. If you want to shave less, shave more efficiently, that's an excellent razor for you. What I'll talk about right now is my issues I had with that video. So I had the phone camera set up, my microphone, everything ready to go. I tested it when I was in the other room. I normally just record a little bit and listen to it, make sure it sounds okay. And that's what I did, like I normally do. And then I came into the bathroom and this happened. I'm in the bathroom now with the door closed, speaking to the dead cat and the camera would be just about that far away from me. And testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. This is the sound that came through right here. And I did not know, I thought everything was fine. I didn't find this out till I completed the video and then I sat down and started to listen to it and I was like, what the, like where did this come from? I have no idea. Went back in there, started turning off lights, dimmers, LED lights, things like that. Couldn't pinpoint what it was still to this day. And that was like, I don't know, four or five days ago. Still have no idea where that came from. I was very dejected about that because I had shaved off my goatee in that video. And once you shave it off, you're done, that's it. I mean, it's not gonna grow back for another few weeks. So I was a little bit upset over that. And I take great pride in the sound quality of my videos. I've been tweaking them for like 10 years. And when that happened, I was just blown away. Like, how did this even, where did this come from? So I sat down, I started editing, do a little schooling and uh, did a little homework, schooled myself. And I was able to fine tune it a bit, equalization, compression, noise reduction, hum reduction. I was able to get rid of that crazy squealing, squeaking, uh, staticky noise that alien sound, but my voice suffered and there was no, there was no trade back. You, you either had to be one way or the other. So, you know, like I said before, in my, the story of Geo Fatboy and Shave Nation video, sometimes life throws you a curveball. So what do you do with it? Do you just give up and say, okay, I shaved off my goatee. I can't put that video out because the sound quality is not 100%. It's more like 80% of where I'd like it to be, maybe 70. So I was able to not give up and tweak it, fine tune it, and make it somewhat acceptable. In my eyes, not really acceptable, but you guys, you didn't complain too much, so thank you for that. I got a few comments like, you know, you sound like an alien, that sort of thing. So that is uh, what I wanted to talk about. Just to let you know that sometimes when you, you think you have the best intentions, you got everything set up properly and you're ready to rock and roll and get your shave on. And then you complete the video, 15, it was like a 23 minute video that I recorded before I started doing some editing to it. And I go in there and you know start to listen to it. Who knows what happened? So hopefully that does not happen again. Still don't know what it is, may never find out what it was. So anyway, I just wanted to vent about that. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Try to do the best you can. I tweaked it, I got it, acceptable. So don't just give up and say, well, I can do this video again in three weeks when I grow back my goatee and then shave it off again. You don't have to go through that process. Just, I went online, watched a few YouTube videos. Seriously, you can learn to do just about anything by watching YouTube videos, right? I mean, I was checking out people flying planes like 747s and there's just so many, anytime I wanna learn anything about anything, I have 30 years in the business as an electrician, you know, I, I have a couple videos out there that are non-shaving oriented, but they still help people. I have one video about a water heater, 
on uh, the flame sensor, how to take, remove it, sand it, that sort of thing, and get your water heater up and running again in like 10, 15 minutes, very easy. And that video is 10 years old, uh, about maybe 400,000 views on it, and people still comment to this day. Like, wow, 3,465 days ago, you made this video and it's still helping me today. So it's pretty amazing when I get comments like that. It kind of gives you the power to keep going, it gives you some good incentive. So that's all I wanted to talk about. As far as the 87R, I don't know, maybe I won't even do that video right now. I might save it for Saturday because this is gonna be Wednesday's video. And uh, it is now 8.08 here. It's 8.08 in the evening and I'm a bit tired. It's a long day today. So I may do this, record this video tomorrow and then upload it on Saturday. So this will be my Wednesday video. One other thing I would like to talk about that I just discovered today is that Arco shaving soap. I often ask like, what is the shelf life of shaving soaps and shaving creams? It's really hard to get a definitive answer, especially from manufacturers. A lot of them don't put dates on their products and you know, you think, is it good for a year? Is it good for two years? Who knows? And they really a little wishy-washy, like they don't want to tell you. And then it depends on where you store it, like what kind of soap, what kind of cream, how much moisture. Do you put the lid back on right away? I normally just let the lid stay off until it dries up. And then I put the lid back on, which is, you know, like an hour or so after the moisture, the visible moisture water on the soap dries up. I just put the lid back on and then hopefully it doesn't dry out and you should get long life out of it then. But I pulled, someone purchased the Arco. We sell it in the stick form like this, which I have another video on. A handsome gentleman on the front, Berber Taras Sabunu. You know, he's the uh, Turkish shaving person on the Arco soap. Handsome guy. And also have it in the jar form like this. So here's what it looks like. Oh, I have a video on the Arco Shave Stick. I'll put a link to that too. How to use it, what it's about, the history of it, all that stuff. Some say it smells fantastic. Some say it smells like ivory soap. Some say it smells like the urinal puck. Yeah, you know, the big white mint in Roadhouse. Yeah, that, that one. And some like it, some hate it. It's very polarizing. You're either kind of one way or the other. The scent to me, I'm fine with it. It doesn't bother me a bit. But what's pretty cool too is there's actually the uh, the emblem or the logo inscribed of that that young gentleman. Maybe you can't see it. It's kind of hard to make this out. But his face is on the soap puck as well, which is pretty sweet. But back to my point. I digress. Back to my point. I pulled one of these off the shelf and I looked at it. I never noticed this before. There's a date on these, and it says it says production date nine of 2018. And then it says ED, which is expiration date, 9 of 2025. So how good's your math? That's 18 to 25. Let me count my fingers and my toes. That's seven years, right? So this soap lasts for seven years. I guess if you treat it properly and put the lid back on, don't let it dry out, you'll get seven years out of it, which is amazing. Chances are it's going to be dissipated. You'll use it up before the seven years is up. So... I mean, I, I could go through this thing and if you're shaving every day, you can go through this in a couple months for sure, no problem, nice and easy. So you don't have to worry about seven years, but seven years is a long time for shaving soap to last and this is very reasonably priced. Probably another reason why it's so popular, it's time tested, it's been around forever. And if you can get seven years out of it, which you probably won't need to, but just knowing in the back of your mind that you can get seven years from it, that's pretty good. Wow, I've been talking for 9 minutes and 24 seconds right now. Okay, so I guess I will 87R. That's going to be my next video, I promise. It'll be the 87R. And I have everything set up for it. I'm going to do it in the morning. Yeah, that's why I'm not clean shaven right now. I probably should have shaved first and then made this video, but we'll do it the other way around. All right, I hope you enjoyed me babbling. And... Um, Sorry that the 87R is not in this video, but I promise it'll be in the next one. Saturday morning, 7.45, check it out. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click, just smash that subscribe button down there and then ring the bell up there so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. 
they'll go right to your inbox and you won't miss any. I greatly appreciate that. If you want to purchase any shaving items, click below the video where it says show more. There will be some links down there or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box and it will pop right up, I promise. If you want the 87R or even before I put the video out, just enter 87R and it will pop up. I'll be waking up tomorrow morning around 6 and I'll be shaving, you know, between 6 and 7 and the video will be ready for you Saturday morning. So please come back and check it out. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.